Hiro, was Tango no Seku a big event when you were a boy? Oh, yes. Mm. I remember wearing samurai helmets mm. made out of newspaper like this. Oh, right. Nice, nice. And my brother and I played at Chambala sword fighting using rolled newspapers at source. Uh -huh. And uh, did it resemble a birthday in tracing your growth towards manhood? In a way, yes. Mm. At Tango no Seku, my father would mark my height on the pillar in the corridor. Mm. I suppose those scratches were imbued with my parents' wish for me to grow up healthily. Mm. The 5th of May is traditionally known as Tango no Seku. It's a day to pray for the healthy growth of boys. In households across Japan, parents display suits of armor and dolls modeled after legendary warriors, wishing that their sons will be strong. The celebration of Tango no Seku is incomplete without carp-shaped streamers, known as koinobori. Koinobori come in many sizes. There are small ones only a few dozen centimeters long, and also large ones over 10 meters long. How did koinobori originate? There's a Chinese legend that a carp that has managed to swim up a waterfall will grow horns and turn into a dragon an auspicious creature. Carp have therefore long been seen as a symbol of success in China. The carp legend made its way to Japan and people eventually began to raise carp-shaped streamers. The parents in many samurai and merchant households did this to pray that their sons would succeed in life. Traditional koinobori are handmade. Specialized artisans spend considerable time and effort making them. At this shop, the artisans draw golden lines on every single scale of a koinobori. They do this because these lines reflect the sunshine when koinobori are flapping in the breeze and make them look more lifelike. There are certain kinds of food that are associated with tango no seku. Kashiwa mochi rice cakes are particularly famous. To make them, pieces of mochi containing sweet bean paste are wrapped in kashiwa oak leaves and then steamed to give the mochi a nice leafy aroma. The leaves of kashiwa oak trees don't fall off in autumn, but stay on the branches until new buds appear in spring. For this reason, kashiwa trees are seen as a symbol of continuous fertility and prosperity. There is also a custom of putting sweet flags in the bath. When steeped in hot water, sweet flags give off a strong scent, and this is believed to have the power to ward off evil and prevent disease. The Japanese have always used seasonal plants as part of their lives in an attempt to harness the power of nature. Tango no Seku, celebrated on May the 5th, involves many traditions and customs. They reflect not just a wish for the healthy development of boys, but also Japanese people's attentiveness to seasonal changes. Stuart, yeah. any comments on the video? Well, I was interested by that idea of painting the scales golden so that the streamers look more like real carp with the sun glinting off their scales. Yes, and some modern carp streamers have the shape of real carp mm -hmm. and they really mm -hmm. do look fish swimming upstream. Yes. In an online catalogue I saw some streamers about mm, 10 metres long. They must look spectacular if you have room to fly them. Well, I think big streamers like that are mostly flown over open spaces such as rivers. Uh -huh. But even lots of city flat dwellers fly mini streamers on their verandas. Mm. And it's nice to see such an old custom kept alive. Yes, indeed. Stuart, yeah. in Britain, do you have an event for boys similar to Tango no Seku? No, we have no particular children's days or symbolic displays or special food. But thinking about the situation here, it seems strange to me to have separate special celebrations for boys and girls and for only Tango no Seku to be a national holiday. Yes, 
I think many girls uh, think the same. <laughs> Uh, in fact, after the war, mm. when the occupation forces and the Japanese government wanted to establish a Children's Day holiday, mm. both March the 3rd and May the 5th were on the list. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. it's still very cold in early March right. in northern areas. Uh, so apparently, they decided on May the 5th when it's warmer nationwide. I see. I, I read that Tango no Seku was once called Shobu no Seku, and that interesting word play of shobu still exists uh -huh. with the meanings of martial spirit and the shobu in the bath uh, representing swords. Mm -hmm. The Japanese seem to love that kind of symbolism and word play. Yes, indeed. Well, like the British, we love to use puns. Mm. But uh, didn't the shobu also have some actual medicinal properties? Uh, Tango no Seku in the old calendar is around mid-June in today's calendar. Mm -hmm. And that's the rainy season in Japan. So I presume there was a risk of infectious diseases spreading in the old days, especially to children. That's absolutely right. Mm. Many children died young. Mm. The shobu uh, is a kind of a herb. So I think mm. uh, it did serve a practical purpose. Mm. I see. Mm. Um, one question, Stuart. Yes. When we talked about furoshiki, mm. it turned out uh, many foreigners use them in all kinds of different ways besides carrying things. Right. Surely uh, that can't be true of koinobori as well, can it? Actually, it is. Oh, is it? Some people hang them up all year round as colourful interior decorations. And I've even heard there are people who use them as shower curtains. Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah, but just think of that. All the beautiful fish in your shower. Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> yeah. I don't